I think that one of the riskiest assets in the entire world is a Japanese government bond. And I thought that before the earthquake and the tsunamis happened. And in, from a larger macroeconomic view, one of the things that I've got positions in and watching close is, is the notion of sovereign debt and what's going to happen. And when you've got these countries that are sitting there with massive amounts of debt, these countries can ill afford major upticks in rates. The UK, uh, uh, the US, Japan. Just yesterday, before the earthquake struck, you were telling us that Japan is in a terrible financial state. It is the largest creditor nation in the world, and now this, I'm sorry, the largest debtor nation in the world, now this. Elaborate on your point that Japan could be in serious trouble. My name is Trey Canippa, and I have been a floor trader in Chicago since 1996. The purpose of this site is to tell you why I am shorting the Japanese government bond market. Interest rates in Japan are very low right now and have been for quite some time. In fact, yields on the 10-year bond in Japan have not been above 2% since 1997. You see, after the Jap Japan real estate bubble popped, the Central Bank of Japan has tried to spur economic growth by using monetary policy and keeping short-term rates near zero. In addition to keeping short-term rates low, the Japanese government has spent a great deal of yen on domestic programs with little or no long-term improvement in GDP growth. The cost of all this spending is that the Japanese government has accumulated massive amounts of debt. It is this debt that is the main focus of my opinion that the Japanese government bond market may be a very good short opportunity. First, let's look at a very simplified version of Japan's income statement. In 2010, the Japanese government took in roughly 92,000 billion yen and spent roughly 92,000 billion yen. Now let's see where that money came from and where that money went. Of the 92 that they took in, only 48 comes from tax revenue, and the other 44 comes from borrowing more money in the form of issuing more bonds. They have to borrow nearly half of their annual budget. How is that sustainable? Now let's look at what the money in Japan's annual budget goes to. 21 goes to debt service, which is interest expense and bond retirement. 27 goes to Social Security, and the remaining 44 goes to run the day-to-day government activities. What are the glaring problems with this math? Do you think it might be a problem that the Japanese government borrows as much to meet their budget as they generate in tax revenue? I think it is a very serious problem that just two of the line items on the expense side of the ledger, debt service and Social Security, is more than the Japanese government takes in in the form of taxes. Now let's look at some math that I find to be nothing short of remarkable. I mentioned before that J Japanese debt service is roughly 22% of the annual budget. Amazingly, that 22% is with the 10-year bond at 1.3% and the 5-year bond at 0.59%. Who is lending the Japanese government money at 1.3% for 10 years and 0.59% for 5 years? The answer? The citizens of Japan own 90% of the outstanding JGBs. One big argument I hear all the time is that the Japanese can finance their own debt. That's why rates are not going to rise and the bond market will remain stable. I disagree. In my opinion, it's the population of dynamic of Japan that is precisely the problem. Who has the longest life expectancy of anyone in the modern world? the Japanese at just over 80 years old. Who has the lowest birth rate of anyone in the modern world? The Japanese at only 1.1 children per female. Recent statistics suggest that by 2020, the Japanese workforce will be 17% lower than it is right now. Why is that important? Remember I said how high the social security expense is as a percentage of the annual budget? As the population of Japan ages, you have that many fewer people paying taxes, that many more people collecting Social Security, and the part of the population that's buying JGBs turn into a net seller. If the government of Japan cannot finance their own debt 
from within, then, we, then they will have to go to the foreign market for financing. Do I think that the outside market is going to lend Japan money at 1.3% for 10 years? No, I do not. Now the math really starts working against the Japanese. I already discussed that interest rate expense is 21 of the 92 in total government expenditure. What happens if interest rates double all the way to 2.6%? If interest rates double, then just their interest rate expense becomes more than their total tax revenue. What happens if 10-year JGB rates go to levels similar to what we've seen in Greece at over 15%? You see how this kind of mathematics gets away from the Japanese in an awful hurry? Maybe now we know why S&P recently downgraded Japanese government debt. If this continues and the rating agencies drop their ratings on JGBs, then there's a good chance interest rates could go up. If interest rates go up, it compounds the fiscal problems in Japan, thus forcing the rating agencies to drop the ratings even more. This is what's known as a feedback loop, and it's a situation that the Japanese can ill afford. It is my opinion that interest rates in Japan have nowhere to go but up. It is my opinion that any increase whatsoever in Japanese rates pushes them closer and closer to a very painful restructuring of debt and perhaps even a default. One main purpose of this site is to provide a central location to collect data, articles, quotes, and opinions regarding the Japanese government bond market. The IMF recently said that Japan's debt and fiscal deficits are not sustainable. In 2009, the Japanese finance minister said rating agencies are targeting Japanese bonds. If they should take action, things could become very difficult. So what if you agree? What if you think the Japanese government bond market is teetering on the brink of a sharp move lower? Would you like to learn how you can get short the Japanese government bond market? This is what I'd like you to do. First, click on the button below where it says, yes, I want to get short the Japanese government bond market. This is going to take you to the contact section of my site. Give me your contact information and the best time for us to discuss this particular trade. A trade of this type is not suitable for all investors. The positions I'm discussing should only be taken with risk capital. It is possible that I'm wrong and that Japanese government bond rates stay flat or even go lower for the foreseeable future. You need to study the risk-reward characteristics of this trade as it pertains to your own individual financial situ situation. Would you like to learn more about shorting the Japanese government bond market? Start by emailing me directly at trey at shortjapandebt.com.